I want to take you away from all this. Strange fetishes have been no stranger to the United States. We've seen things like sandpaper dildos to humans dressed like bunnies to fuck each other. However, at what point is it too far? Local zookeeper Richard Stevens has brought a new meaning to Planet of the Apes, where he's found love in a pit of primates. The zoo, a place where American families come to explore life other than their own. For one zookeeper, exploring life was taken to a sexual level. Meet Richard Stevens, a zookeeper that's probably from the same zoo that Harambe was killed in. Except the only thing being killed here was monkey pussy. Stevens has recently taken his monkey pussy slaying talents to Southern California, where an unfortunate event involving the monkeys took place. I want to take you away from all this. Several reports surfaced of Stevens having sexual relations with the monkeys. There had also been some sightings of Stevens sneaking into the cages during zoo operating hours. Stevens claimed that he was just feeding the monkeys until one day he was caught by a family having a hot orgy, which apparently you can't do. The cock-blocking family immediately called authorities. Stevens fled the scene as if, for some reason, he was going to get away simply just by running. Authorities would later catch up with Stevens at his home after letting him run for a little bit. According to the LA County Sheriff, watching a sex offender run down the street is really funny. Investigators say that Stevens was hard when they arrested him, which for some reason is making me wetter than Niagara Falls. Mandy is no stranger to sucking dick for news jobs. Our correspondent Shaquita Jackson got a chance to sit down with Stevens to talk about his arrest. Cut to Shaquita. Well, welcome Richard. Thank, Thank you for you. stopping by and Absolutely. meeting with us today in these rather harsh times, if you will. Um, so yes, so thank you for your time. So Richard, if you don't mind, could you tell me a little bit about the incident that happened at the zoo that led you to be in court this week? You know, it was a very unfortunate event, I would say so myself. Um, as I had said earlier, I would pry in day in, day out, open the gates to the monkeys a few times a day. Although they looked very excited, you know, um, for some odd reason, the zookeepers would call security on me and uh, other family members would just report me to the zoo, um, you know. But damn, those monkeys loved it. I gave them everything they bargained for. Hell of a time. Worth every second. Um, I understand I'm going to run court, run trial, but um, it was fucking worth it. I almost wish I was there myself. And um, I can only imagine how it must feel for you when you travel to local zoos. I must imagine it's a very exhilarating feeling when you pass the cages in which the monkeys are being held. Uh, so what do you feel? What do you feel when you see these beautiful creatures, if you will? You know, it really gets my dick hard. No, no. They're happy, I'm happy. Uh, everyone's happy, except for my friends and family and the zookeepers, um, pretty much everyone surrounding. Uh, but uh, you know, I'm happy with them, and that, I think that's all that matters. Well, that's beautiful. I'm glad to hear that, Richard. And is that feeling something that you find you might be able to share with a human? A human like me? You know? Well. Well, I don't necessarily have emotions with humans, no, just the monkeys. But you, however, yourself, there's something ravishing about yourself. Um, you know, I'd like to bend you over and possibly stick it in your cornhole if, if that works with you. Yeah. Cut the cameras, John. John, cut the fucking cameras. Stevens was bombarded with questions when awaiting trial. However, for some reason, he was proven innocent due to the monkey's sexual consent to perform sexual acts, proving that in these modern times, human beings just really don't give a fuck anymore. This was indeed a step forward in the justice system and proves once again that love always wins. I'm going to go finger myself in the freezer. Right behind you, bitch. I'm Marlon Webb, and you're watching 69 Minutes.